This sensor consists of a transparent elastic body, two layers of red and blue markers inside, and a CCD camera to capture the markers. A black layer is attached at the surface to make the surface opaque. A force applied at the surface causes deformation of the elastic body. As it deforms, the movement from the two layers of markers are derived from video captured by the CCD camera. The distribution of force vectors is then reconstructed from this movement. A light source is located inside to illuminate the markers and the CCD camera. Here we see the camera image when force is applied. Notice the movement of markers and particularly the difference of movement between the red and blue markers. By calculating the center of the markers at every frame by image processing, the movement of markers is obtained. The calculated distribution of force vectors is shown here as a collection of arrows. The direction and length of the arrows indicate the direction and magnitude of the force. This shows the distribution of force vectors parallel to the surface of the sensor. Existing sensors cannot measure this applied force we see here. The developed sensor has numerous applications. The first is a force feed-forward computer interface with a rich geometrical structure, which can be used in many